This next one I want to do for you. I grew up in northeastern New Mexico, and this one was requested, so I'll have to do it. When I was little, all my friends were little Mexican boys and girls, and we used to speak with quite a bit of Spanish in our language, and our teachers would tell us not to do that. Of course, we'd do it more. We was in trouble all the time, but I think you call it Spanglish today. Anyway, I wanted to write a story about that time in my life, growing up there in Harding County, New Mexico, around Roy and Mills where my grandparents homesteaded. And so I came up with this one, and it's getting close to Christmas, so here's a little Christmas poem for you, done in my best northeastern New Mexico manner that I can do it. It was la noche before Christmas, and all across the ranch, there no animals was moving. The owl, he sits still on his branch. Me wool socks were laid out by the kiva all right. Possible Papa Noel find them there later tonight. Me children were snuggle all warm in their beds. While visions of sopapillas y tamales dance in their heads. Mamacita and her flannels. Long John's got my nod. We were just about dreaming of Feliz Navidad. When out in the corral, the cows, they start mooing. The dogs is all barking. A real racket is brewing. This racket is scare me and I jump out of bed. I trip on the house cat and I fall on my head. I open the door just a little, and I barely peek through. I think maybe it's a witch, or a diablo, a coyote or two. But the moon is so big and bright in the sky, I can see the whole barnyard. It's no wonder why. And then I think my eyes have gone bad, or maybe they're full of the wolves, because I see a little cartera pulled by eight corriente bulls. <laughs> the common era who drive them so fast and so well, I knew muy pronto it was Papa Noel. Muy rapido, like jaguars, these toros, they came. And he holler, and he yell, and he call them by name. Alberto, Pochito, Diego, Miguel. You there, Vicente, Francisco, Pablo, Emmanuel. Arriba, get up there, or I'll whip you, I warn. Get up over the haystack, get up on the barn. And they flew up like a storm blew them there. And they snorted, and they pulled the cartera with no care. Up past the shed roof to the barn roof they flew. And up went the carter. He toys. He Papa Noel too. <laughs> then in a moment on the barn tin, I can hear every hoof. And I think maybe one left a cow pie up there on the roof. <laughs> I close the door and I hid behind the wood bin. I hear a crash in the attic and Papa Noel tumble in. He's got on a sarape and a sombrero gran and his clothes are all trail worn and covered with sand. He's got the big pack made from the cowhide and his jam full of toys and presents inside. He looks like a traveler, yet friendly somehow, and he moves as smooth as a dancer before taking a bow. His handlebar mustache almost cover his smile and his black whiskers, imagine they used to be, his black whiskers, they're cut machismo style. He's got leather wrist cuffs above soft calfskin gloves, and the conchos on his leggings, they're of crosses and doves. He's muy grande, an hombre for sure, yet he have a smile so soft and demure. He's an hombre, yes, jolly. And on his behalf, I tell you, in spite of myself, he made me laugh. He looked round mi casa at our stockings and tree. I know we're amigos, this hombre and me. He don't say nothing. He just opened his pack wide. He filled all our stockings with things from inside. Then he looked back at the attic where he came in before. He just shrugged his shoulders. He walked out the door. <laughs> then he jumped back on the barn roof like child's play that part. And he scratches his bulls and he hop in his cart. And he say as they fly away, Cause his bulls, he did prod. Buenos noches, mis amigos. Y feliz Navidad. Papa Noel, thank you.